praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad. Glory be to God. This is a blessed day today, and this is Word Faith Ministry. This is Minister Joanne Harris, and we thank God for this blessed day. But we know this is the day that God has made, and we shall rejoice. The word says rejoice and be glad. Glory be to God. We have a word from God today to help somebody, help somebody that don't know this question. What is salvation? Some people don't understand salvation and don't know are they saved or how they are saved. But as the Holy Spirit teaches us today, we going forth and, and, and let the Holy Spirit teach us and let the Holy Spirit have his way today. Glory be to God. So let us get into the word of God this morning and we're going to start off with prayer. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we come this morning thanking you for another brand new day, God. Thank you, God, that your word is Coming forth, Lord God, with power. We thank you, Lord God, that we have a ear to hear what the Spirit is saying to us. God, we thank you for a brand new day, a brand new faith, Lord God, that we put our trust in you, Lord God. But without you, we can't do anything. Father, we stand on your word. We stand to say, no weapon formed against us from the enemy shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against us in judgment. Father God, we speak that those tongues be condemned. Father, forgive us, God, for our sins as we forgive those who sin against us, God. You said in your word, if we don't forgive one another, you will not forgive us, Father God. We come right now, Lord God, giving thanks, giving praise, God, for your goodness, for your greatness, for your mercy, Lord God. God, in your forgiveness, Lord God, we thank you right now as we come before you, knowing that you see, sit high and you look down low upon each and every one of us, God. Father, I speak right now that none of me, Lord God, but all of you, check every word, every vocabulary word that comes out of my mouth. Touch my lips, God, from the cold of your altar, Lord God. I surrender myself into your hands right now, Lord God, that I'm just your vessel. Speak, Lord God, like never before. Father, I surrender all into your hands that have your way right now. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The topic for today is what is salvation? A lot of times, we know salvation, we know come through Christ, but sometimes we got to get a great understanding of how we are saved. We are saved through Jesus Christ, our faith. Come on, our faith. All salvation comes through Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. I know someone had asked, a, a friend of mine asked a question about that. They was going to church. They was doing all these things, but they told her they didn't even know whether they were saved. They didn't understand how they were saved. So it, this is a mess of God that spoke to my heart. Put it out there and help somebody. You don't, we don't know. Some of us may do know, but we need to know the true thing about salvation. Because some of us as Christians don't really know. Some of us think we are saved because we are doing work. Because we are going going to church 24 hours, we are being faithful in church, but our lifestyle. Jesus told um, Nicodemus, except you be born again. Come on. Converted is our life being changed. It's, when you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are saved. Uh, your life, that salvation, that means that your life of being what? being converted you're being what converted over into the righteousness of christ in his righteousness glory be to god let's go into the word for we can read we're going to um romans 
10. Let's go there. Let's go to to the 8th verse. We're going to start there. At the 8th verse says this. It said, but what said it? The word is now the even in thy mind and in thy heart that it is come on that it is the word of faith which we preach glory be to god and that's faith in who faith in jesus christ glory be to god let's go on and say this is the faith now that we should be preaching we should be leading people to salvation leading one another to those that are lost and those that don't understand whether or not they're saved or not to teaching them the way to is salvation and salvation is through jesus christ come on and what he done listen at this on the cross we're going to get into this it says not said now if if thy shall confess come on with your mouth lord jesus come on if you confess with your mouth, that means if you believe it's Jesus Christ that saved you and can save you. And salvation is through my faith. Come on. We heard this here and said, let the word be preached to you that this is the only way your faith. That you hear the word today. You hear it. And you what? It say yes to Jesus today. And they say, but if you confess this, Confess with your mouth, Jesus, the Lord Jesus, and shall believe, come on, in your heart. See, this is not coming just saying the Lord Jesus. This got to come in the heart. This means when you believe something. So when you sit down on a chair, you're not, look, you're not afraid that that chair won't hold you. You believe that chair will hold you. You believe when you go to work and work all the week, you really believe that you're going to get a paycheck. It, it, that week because you don't work the whole week your faith is so that you know you're gonna get a check because you you heard the word that the man say that you work a week you'll get paid every week and you're looking forward you your faith is in that that uh, in that check so that's how you got to believe in your heart about christ and what he done come on and if you confess this the with your mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, and to believe in thy heart. Believe this. This is what you got to believe in your heart. That God has raised him from the dead. And thou shall be saved. Glory be to God. You got to believe on what Christ, what the purpose he came, God sent his only begotten son. Glory be to God. John 3, 16. Tell it, so God, so God, so love. This whole world, come on. He loves everybody. He said the whole world, God don't want no one to be lost. That's the purpose he sent his son. Through salvation is through Jesus Christ. If you want to know how I am saved, this is, a, this is a verse right here. Romans 10 can help anyone to know you got to first believe it in your heart. Not just saying it with your mouth. A lot of times we go over the center of prayer with people, but do they believe? Get them to understand and believe in this in their heart. Glory be to God. Come on. And you say you share, you believe that God sent his son into this world. I believe that. And I believe he sent him for what? To save us from sin. Glory be to God. Salvation is 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 really when when what when you are break you are being saved come on saved from sin you are being delivered come on you are being saved from sin and delivered from sin if there are any sin in your life you should and you say you in christ jesus you are new creature old things have passed you're not doing you're not practicing it anymore Come on, we are sin, we are mess up, but what? We know who to go to when we do mess up. That's why the prayer, we pray this, Lord, you know, forgive us for our sins. Sins mean sin, seen sins and unknown sins that we don't see. 
I have to pray that prayer because we only the Holy Spirit know where we mess up what is sin. He's the one that leads us and directs us. But we know we can go. Come on, to the throne. We can go because we know his son sitting right there. The blood of Jesus is continuing to wash our sins away. As we would trust him, believe on him, knowing that I don't have to, like Paul said in Romans, he said in Romans 6, he said, should we continue in sin? The word said, God forbid. It means God forbid for us to continue in sin when he has sent his son, Jesus Christ, to the cross for our sin. So why should we continue practicing in sin? Practice it means you doing it and knowing that it's wrong. Salvation is through Jesus Christ that now you are being reborn. You are being redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, Jesus Christ. There are no more sacrifices. No more because the sacrifice is being sacrificed and that's Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So this is the way to salvation, knowing that what is salvation? You need to know. Those that don't, don't understand how you are saved. If I'm still practicing these things, I mean, knowing that it's in, knowing that Jesus Christ went to the cross and, and, and shed his blood, took on all of the world sin, took it on his show, all the sin upon him. And when he died and, and, and buried my sins, all that was buried with him, only because I believe that my sins is gone because of Jesus Christ. And that's why salvation comes through Jesus Christ. By what? By faith. By faith. By hearing the word of God. Come on. Let's continue this here on. It said, for with the heart, man believes unto righteousness. Come on. Once I know I'm in Christ and I say, Lord, I want to be saved. Forgive me for my sins, Lord. He comes reach ready and wash it away. Now I got to believe that they are gone. I got to believe I should not be practicing this because Jesus saved me. I should know this is wrong. Because I remember what Romans 6 said, that Paul said, we, you should, we continue in this. No. That means you're yielding your, your members to unrighteousness when you know what Christ has done for you for the cross. You know sin is being what? Taken away. The blood of Jesus has done away with the work of the enemy. And the work of the devil is sin because the Bible says he sinned from the beginning. Come on. First John 3 tell you he sinned from the beginning. So when you are in Christ, we should not continue walking in sin. If we're saved, come on. Saved means you are not practicing sin. You are being delivered from those sins for nature. The things you used to do. Even if you mess up, you will not feel right. That's how you know you really is in Christ living in you and you abiding in him because he will not let you see. Let's go over there. Let's hold this up and let's go to um first John three. Let's we gotta get this. We gotta get an understanding of what God trying to teach us about salvation. It hurt in my heart to know the young lady didn't understand all her life. She was just going to church till she said she was tired. And it hurt my heart. So God spoke to me, get up and ask this person, what is salvation? Because there are some. He said, there are some don't know. I know you may know, but teach them. God said, teach them what I. Come on command you to teach. People coming in and out. Well, this is for the ones that we say we are Christian. Get an understanding. If your lifestyle is not 
our lifestyle. Come on. Our lifestyle is not lining up as a Christian, as we think Christian mean Christ life. Every day we should be what? Striving to be more like Christ. Striving to be more like Christ. If you keep your faith in him and trust, he will do the work in you. Glory be to God. No, we are not perfect. But the perfect one lives in us. And if we surrender ourselves, he will fix it. When we mess up, we know we can get back up and say, Lord, forgive me. He knows your heart. This stuff comes from your heart. God knows if you intentionally to continue in sin or would you just made a mistake. Come on. And you need his help. That's what Jesus said. He said, come to me. All you that labor and heavy labor, and I will give you. Come on, rest from that. I will take away this, the desire. If you would trust in me, knowing that I'm the one, Satan may come try to tempt you with this thing, and that's what he do. He come to get you, to tempt you, to yield your members back. To unright. Know who you are in Christ. I am the righteousness of God. When you make a mistake, you will get back up. Come on. And you will stay in the right. This is what it's about. What did David? David messed up, but God knew his heart. The Bible said he was a man after God's heart. When you a man or woman after God's heart, then when you mess up, you can't stay there. You can't stay there. You 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 won't feel right until you get it right. You won't stay. You will recognize this ain't right. This is not right. Because you will remember that Jesus brought me out of this thing. You will know the difference. Because he said, my sheep will know my voice. Glory be to God. Let's go to 1 John and 3. Come on. Little children, that's First John 3 and 7. Little children, let no man deceive you. He that doeth righteous is righteous. Glory be to God. Even, he, even as he is righteous. And who is righteous? Only righteousness comes through Jesus Christ. If, if you are righteousness in God, only through Jesus Christ. So Christ is the way to salvation. Your faith. Come on. Got to believe that Christ has already went to the cross and finished the work of and, and, and destroyed every every spirit of the devil, every sin. He done buried. It's been buried. But why is we continue, like Paul said, when you know Christ has done away, when he says it's finished, it's done. And all you got to do is believe on it. Let's go on. It said, ain't said, he that committed sin is of the devil. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is the word. This is this is first John, first John 3. And in and, and seven, we had eight now. Get, get this word down. You read for yourself and ask the Holy Spirit teaching you. That's what we do. We just vessel spreading the God. Of Jesus Christ. That's the gospel that must be preached. It's the gospel of Jesus Christ. Getting people to understand what is salvation, how salvation has come about only through Jesus Christ and what he done at the cross. Glory be to God. Get it or understand. And all you're getting, God said, get or understand. Praise the Lord. Let's go on. He said, he that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil sin is from the beginning. Come on. What we just say. Sin come from the devil. Because he what? He do it from, he sin from the beginning. So if I continue in this, like Paul said. Now God forbid if you say you in Christ and you have, you have accepted the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and what he done at the cross for you. You know that he already shared the blood. He already said it's finished. What was the purpose of Christ saying it's finished? If you're going to continue in. When sin been done away with. 
it's the devil keeps tempting us in our mind and and it, like paul said in, in romans 6 he said what yielding your members that means Satan is influenced a lot of Christians. They are being influenced by the devil. Come on. This is a word that God gave me. Say, now, if you say, now you got to come out of that. Glory be to God. He said, what? He said, because the Satan, he said, because the devil sinned is from the beginning. For for this purpose, the Son of God was manifest, and we know what he has done at the cross. He was already, it already been done. The finished work. When God, when Jesus said it's finished, means there are no more way that those that believe in me should be what? Sin. You have a right to now you can be justified through your faith in Jesus Christ. You are justified. No, you are no more judge of what you used to do. Because through Jesus Christ, you are justified by faith. Faith in Jesus Christ justified your righteousness. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And it says what? For whosoever, he said, he said, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifest that he might destroy, come on, the works of the devil. He destroyed the works of the devil. He done destroyed the works. Today, God want us to know salvation is only in Jesus Christ. By faith, if you believe it, that he have done the finished work. He have what? Destroyed the works of the devil. And what the word say? Say them sin from the beginning. Glory be to God. This is what he does. Sin comes from Satan, from the devil. Come on. Now, let's go on. It said, and and it said, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin. He said, for does not commit sin. Those is born. If you born again, come on. Get on and say, don't get like, uh, um, uh, the one that uh, Nicodemus in the Bible, when he didn't understand what being born again means. I mean, you are, you're walking a new life. You're not the same person. I'm not the same Joanne when I'm coming out there doing anything and everything. I'm not that person anymore. That's the old man. I'm a new creature in Christ. My life has changed. It doesn't matter what people don't believe in you have changed. Your light shine. The light of Jesus Christ will shine and let all men see and know that you have what? It is Christ that lives in you. You can't do what your friends are old, the old things you used to do. You may lose friends. You may lose loved ones. You may lose family because you're not the same person. We don't do those things. Life change in Christ, you got to know and understand. You can't straddle the fence with it. Life. Born again. That's what he said. He said, he said, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, but his seed remaineth in him. So if you're in Christ, the seed of Christ, the seed of God is in you. Through Jesus Christ. Faith in Christ. Causing you what? To be, have access with the Father. You can go bold and now to the throne. We don't have to go to the preacher, the priest. Jesus Christ is that high priest now. You only can hear the word. That's all we as ministers are supposed to do. Preach the gospel. And you take that word and apply it to your life and get in there. We are making fruit trees for the kingdom of God. Righteous trees. Come on. This is what, and as you making more disciples, as you get it, and you minister to somebody else about what God is doing in your life, come on, we making rightful trees, righteous trees. Glory be to God. And he says, and 
he cannot see me. You cannot see me. Why? Because that seed is in you. And with that seed in you, once you came to Christ, and now your life, you are a new creature. Now you are born again. The seed of God is in you. Now, like Paul say, God forbid for you to continue. What, what happened? You losing yourself, and you can't lose it. The word tells you, if you go back upon this, then all of your righteous, come on. That's in the, uh, over in Ezekiel 18. All your righteous will not even be known like you ain't never was right. That means you can lose salvation. Because if you go back, but if you return, all that you done wrong, it will never be mentioned. That's the word. Ezekiel 18. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So because he is born, because what? You you it, you can't see. You cannot see. Because you are born, this method of God. When he said, you are my children. Now, God said, I love the whole world. I want the whole world because I created it. All. But if you born of God, you are only as his child. Glory be to God. Let me, let me tell you. Here, here it is. Here. Now, he said, you, are, you can't sin. You can't commit it because you're born of God. But if you commit it and practice it, something ain't right about that. We have to be careful. The devil sitting up in the church doing some stuff, and it's a devil. Because he know you ain't going to go out there in the world. We'll look at them people and feel like, well, we know they wrong, and they know they wrong. But it's for them, too, salvation for them to come. And if we barely look and say, how, how is, it, is, is, is it possible for them that lost can get saved? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So let's go on and read this. This is good. It said, whosoever is born of God does not commit sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he is born of God. Glory be to God. And in this, the children of God, listen to this. Everybody ain't the child of God. Now, this is the word. Everybody, we can't call everybody a child of God because everybody ain't a child. Now, this is saying, this is manifest that who is the children of God. Come on. This is the word. It tells you right here. It said, in this, the children of God are manifested. Come on. The children of God are manifested. Hallelujah. It said, and the children of the devil. Come on. I say, everybody ain't the child of God. Are you practicing in sin like Paul say? And you supposed to know you say you say? Come on. That's why people need to really understand what is salvation. You need to understand. Um, I abide in in Christ, have my life changed? Am I living a, a brand new born again life because you were born of God? We need to know this. We need to not just stand going over sinner's prayer and saying, sending these people out and saying, You're saved now. And they study practicing. They need an understanding, glory be to God, of what is salvation and how salvation come about. Where your faith got to be, it comes from your heart. You got to truly be confident in knowing because what? You got to know that you know that God finished the work, the sin is on Jesus Christ to finish the work, to store the work of the devil, and that is sin. You got to believe this in your heart. Hallelujah. You got to believe it in your heart. Glory be to God. Let's go on. So he said it's going to be manifest who is the children of God and who is the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness, come on, is not a God. So that means you're not a child of God. You can't call everybody a child of God. Looking at, look at, he said, know them by the fruit. 
stay back. This is the word. Not trying to judge nobody and say you ain't no God. No, you got to have a word to be your criteria. To let people understand where they stand in Christ. Let's go for all of us. This is the good news to us. It says what? And whosoever not who do is not righteous is not of God. That means you must be a charity of the devil. Neither he that loveth not his brother. Come on. You're not if we're not loving one another like we should, then we are not what? A part of God. We're not children of God because God is love. And we must what? Love you one another. We may not like one another way, but you still got to love them. You got to love them. You got to forgive them in your heart. Come on. Not just with our mouth. Our heart will tell whether we forgive people because when we see them, you know what I'm saying? We got to be like Christ. Whatever they done to you is in the sea of forgiveness. Forget about it and keep them moving. See, keep going. See, and we got to understand what is salvation in Christ Jesus. This is a word. Let's go back to Romans. Let's go back to Romans uh, 10. Let's continue that it is. It said, let's go to, to the 10th verse. It said, for with the heart, man believes unto right. And with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Come on. Confession is being made. Glory be to God. It says, for the scripture says, whosoever believeth on him shall, shall not be ashamed. Glory be to God. You won't be ashamed. For there is no difference between the Jews and the Greek, for the same Lord over all is rich unto all unto all that calls upon him. It's for everybody. The sinners, the all. This salvation is for you. All for God so loved the world. John 3 16. For God so loved the world. So just let it know it's for all. Salvation is calling for all to be saved. Come on. But you got to believe in your heart that I am saved. Once I came to Christ and I confess my sins and say, Lord, forgive me for all my sins. Come on. He know what you've done. And he will what? He will throw it away from the east and from the west. Come on. And you know there's no end from the east and the west. That's how far he'll throw your sins away. And those that have backfired and say we are in Christ, come back. Return salvation to salvation. Don't lose. Going to church, your work, the Bible told you about, about Abraham, he was not justified as righteous through no work it was his faith glory be to god it was his faith it was his faith in jesus christ it was his faith in god jesus said have faith in god that means you believe that god sent his son in your heart you got to believe it because when you believe it what it means you gonna you are not gonna commit the things that were Christ and came to done away with. Salvation, what it means is through Jesus Christ. Salvation is really meaning to us that salvation is bringing us from sin. Come on, delivering us. We are being delivered through the blood of Jesus Christ. We are being redeemed by the blood. Glory be to God. Come on. The Romans say, what tell us, shall we continue in sin? God forbid for us to what? Continue to, to walk in this. Continue to pray.
crack. We went to the other church to say it let us know, are oh, you really a church child of God? I know that's the structure God gave me. If you really claim it, I'll hurry up and got myself back on track. There was some things, I, okay, I you, sometimes we try to straddle the fence. And God brought that scripture to me. You talking about somebody getting away from that? Because I was listening to that. That's why he said, don't be conceived. Don't be deceived by man, by people. People were saying, God, and all the folks that, that you know, look at that, that church person. See, that was the devil. But I didn't even know what I know now. The more you closer you draw to God, the more your 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 eyes will be enlightened, and more being like Christ. Glory be to God. Thank God for this word. But this is what we want to remember: what is salvation? Helping somebody to understand salvation is through Jesus Christ. Meaning you've been redeemed. Christ has already redeemed us by the blood. He's been, we've been redeemed only by our faith. Come on. The word tells us faith comes by hearing. Come on, the word of God. Hearing the word of God. And when you hear the word, and like you heard today, let it get in your heart and change your, that word will cleanse you. St. John 15 tells you that the will cleansed by his word. Come on. That's how faith come about. When you heard that what Christ had done, he said when you thought you heard the gospel, then you begin to believe that Jesus died for my sin because God sent his only begotten son down here on earth to suffer, to go through. He sent him into a, a body, a man, into a body to, 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 to show us, to do the work that we, it was only because of us that I'm going to do this and I'm going to walk on this earth and to show them that how much God so loved them, that what I'm going to suffer just for them. That they now can be set free from the hands of the enemy. There will be no more capture. No matter what you're going through, you're covered by the blood of Jesus. Nothing can touch you. No one can pluck you out of his hands. If you have faith in God, through, in knowing that through Jesus Christ, salvation comes through Jesus Christ. I'm saved because of what he has done at the cross. God sent in his son. I believe that. Now, I'm the righteousness of God through Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. We thank God for this powerful word. And we pray that you take heed to it and help somebody else. If you already know, spread this gospel to let others know that it is life. That you got to believe in your heart and confess. Come on, confess this. That I believe, Jesus, that you died for this sin that I'm doing. Or this sin that's going on that in my life. What's going on? I can't get out of this addiction. I believe, Jesus, that you can take away my sin right now. Because you went to the cross and you done done away with the sin. With this very thing that I'm doing. Now I give my heart and my life unto you. Take my heart, take my life, and live life through me. That I know that it's not me living. I'm a new born again. Right now, all you got to do is believe that. And believe in your heart. This is what it says. Come, your heart. That means you got to have the confidence. That you know that you know that Jesus died on the cross. And you confess. And call upon his name right now. And he will save you from whatever you are in. Glory be to God.
And I thank God for his word. And I pray that someone be in touch. Someone get a great understanding. Like God said, all I would get is get an understanding. Glory be to God. We thank God for his word. This is word, faith, ministry. This is Minister Joanne Harris. Glory be to God. I love you and God love you more. Glory be to God.